Welcome, welcome. How to be a money magnet and transform your life. I'm Laura Rubenstein, your host and producer of the WSA TV women's premiere show. And you're in store for today to take a look at how can you reach new levels of happiness or attract and cultivate healthy relationships? Or what if you want to increase your impact and find more meaning? And what about being that money magnet and having that financial power? Well, you're in luck today because today's premier women experts are sharing how to transform your life personally and financially. So let's go say hi. Hi, Lorna. Hey, Laura. Hey, everyone. Tell us your name and where you're at and what you do. So I'm Lorna Blake. I am based in Tampa Bay, Florida. I um, I help women, spiritual women, to manifest more money so they can enjoy more freedom, fun, and overflow. And my website is lornablake.com. Great to have you. And hi, Helen. Thank you, Laura, for having me. I am Helen Cummings Henry. I am a certified coach, speaker. And you can find me on H E L E N C H, Helen C H dot org. And I am in New York. All right. Great to have the East Coast connection here. I'm in San Diego and I am super excited for today's topic. So let's jump right in. I know, Lorna, you are like financial empowerment specialist. So tell us if someone wants to become a money magnet, how can we do this? Such a great question, Laura. And I love to start with money is energy. I think that is something that many of us know or understand. But the other piece that I love to add to that is money is energy that can be redirected to you instead of away from you. And so if we start with that premise or that belief, then we want to acknowledge that there is a story we are telling ourselves that is resulting in the money flowing away from us or the uh, lack of money that we're experiencing. And so we want to become aware. So I'm using three A's. So acknowledge the story you're telling yourself about the outflow or the lack of money you're experiencing. And then A number two is become aware that the story may actually be connected to your childhood wound, your deepest childhood wound. And for me, mine is fear of rejection resulting from being abandoned as a child. And so uh, fear of rejection is one of those. There's fear of losing love, fear of being judged, fear of having nothing, or fear of not being liked. And so many times we hear people say it's fear of failure or fear of success. But when you drill down deep inside, it's one of those fears that I've just mentioned. And so acknowledge the story you're telling yourself about the lack of uh, money in your life and then become aware the story is actually about a deep fear. And then your next A is to affirm. You could use a simple money affirmation like money is coming to me. And there is a a song you can find on YouTube by Eddie Hankins Jr. It's called Money is Coming to Me. So you just plug that into, uh, type that into YouTube and you can loop that song and keep it going because repetition deepens impression. And that's a powerful way to get money coming to you. I've used it to great results. Clients have used it. And if you check the song on YouTube, so many people talk about how it's helped them to see an inflow of money coming in. Oh, I love this. Becoming a money magnet by listening to music, you know, as and also acknowledging and affirming, like uh, acknowledging and becoming aware of those fears. So I want to jump over to Helen because Helen, you help people transform their lives. And if they have these fears or they want to have the results they are seeking in their lives, what advice do you have? Well, first, transformation comes from you. You must want to change your life. You must want to better yourself. You must want to change your world. And in order to do this, you have 
to have a positive mind frame. You have to walk away from the negativity of this world that we live in. I will share with you, I wanted to better myself. I wanted to go up the ladder. And while I was in corporate America, I wanted to make more money. I was I was with earning a small salary and I said, I am going to get better in this industry. And that's what I did. I used the tools that I wanted to better myself with and I earned more money. So what I'm trying to share with you, you can do what you want to do with a positive mind frame. Wow. I can get the energy of that positivity. I mean, between being positive and speaking to yourself positively and taking what Lorna says and surrounding yourself with that music or, you know, an awareness of where you've been and then yes. using what you said, Helen, where you want to go and just being determined and positive. Wow. The power of positivity is is fueling this whole show. I mean, that's what you both are talking about is how to be a money magnet You've got to be more focused on what you want and yes. trans and you will transform your life, whether it's money or otherwise. Right. That's it. Awesome. So let's talk a little bit about each of you because um, you are experts in your fields. Uh, Lorna, why don't you tell us who do you work with and what do you do with them? Absolutely. So I work with spiritual women entrepreneurs and I help them manifest more money so they can enjoy more freedom, fun, and overflow. Doesn't that sound amazing? It does. Do you have a, a story of how you help someone do that? Absolutely. So I, uh, I help lots of different coaches and speakers. And one of the people who is uh, just foremost in my mind is a health coach. She had come to me because her husband was from the Caribbean and she was, uh, she was born in Europe and had lived in North America for a long time, but she didn't have a base a client base there. And she was going to leave North America to move to the Caribbean. And her fear was that the Caribbean, the people in the Caribbean where she was going, wouldn't be able to afford her coaching services. So she came to me. And in the process of working together through my program, over two months, she came back and she was excited to let me know she had manifested $10,000 in new income. And that she continued to manifest more money, more partnerships and opportunities because of our work together. And I'm super excited about that because so often we, we get caught in a, a fear of things not working out in, you know, where we're going to move to, or we have a sense of where money is and where it isn't. And so she was able to bypass that fear and start manifesting money and new coaching opportunities and partnerships and so on. Yay. Yay. Isn't yes. it amazing how our mind gets in our way? And Helen, I know you're an expert at this. So tell us about who you work with and what you do with them. Well, Laura, I work with women battling imposter syndrome. And what that is, is women, and it could be men also, but I deal with mostly women in which you feel like you don't deserve your accomplishments. You feel like you don't belong, you don't deserve your success, or you are in a place where no one wants to notice you. But I'm here to tell you, you can do anything that you need to do. <laughs> You cannot be fearing. As Lorna said earlier, sometimes it's fear that gets within us, but we have to not let fear get within us, but to step out in faith and believe that whatever you want to do, you can accomplish. I love that. And so tell us the story of how you help somebody do that. Well, this is so interesting. I love it. If there was a young woman who was going through a difficult period in her life and was about to throw in the towel. I was able to coach her through her crisis and fast forward today, she is on a path to greatness. <laughs> 
having re-enrolled in college and is one year away from obtaining her master's in business. And I love the way she is enjoying her career. And I believe every young person should be able to enjoy the purpose-driven dream that they want to do. It's great that you fueled her belief in her faith and took her out of her crisis um, to focus on what's, like you said, her purpose. That's beautiful. The work both of you are doing is so am amazing and transformative, and it really does make a difference. And I want to acknowledge you. And I want to, it's my privilege because I sit here week after week interviewing uh, premier women, uh, uh, premier members of Women Speakers Association, and I get so inspired by the work you do. And if you're watching today and you want to sh get your message out, you're passionate about something, you want to connect with a community of women like Lorna and H Helen, um, then join us. Check it out at least at joinwsa.com. If you want to just put your toe in the water, we have a speaker success plan you can download at speakersuccessplan.com. But in any event, this is where you want to go. So I want, I have one um, final question for each of you now that you are here. Want to just tap into what do you love and value about Women Speakers Association? Lorna? I am so delighted that I've been here in uh, WSA for the last several years. One of my biggest, biggest wins is I've had my biggest speaking paydays because of the exposure I received through the premier membership. And the other big win is having the opportunity to connect directly with Gail Watson. She is in incredible. She, just by talking to her within a few minutes, I was in a bit of a rut recently, and just speaking with her within a couple of minutes, she gave me ideas to implement. And she was so affirming that she gave me a reflection of myself. She's able to read people. She's such a great leader. And so I got to say, she helped turn things around for me so fast that I am way ahead of where I was before I spoke with her. So I just wanted to acknowledge Gail Watson and Women Speakers Association. It's it's incredible. And for women who haven't yet joined, you don't know what you're missing. Get on board and join. It will change your life. Oh, wonderful. I totally agree. There's not many organizations out there where you'll get to speak to the CEO. Um, okay. And they will be so invested in your success and give you wisdom that's right there for you that you're not seeing. And that's what we have here with Gail and all of the leaders here and other women. You never know who you're going to meet here. So thank you. Helen, thank you. tell us about the value um, you are getting in love from Women Speakers Association. Well, I'm enjoying all the women. <laughs> I am enjoying the tools that is given to me that I can use to build my own industry. Also, I enjoyed meeting Gail Watson. You know, she is such a pleasure to meet. And also I enjoyed all the um, events that they are having. You know, it's, it's, it's nice to join. And as Lorna said earlier, get on board. You don't know what you are missing. <laughs> and I love being connected and with the like-minded people around me so I can share what they're doing so that it can also add value to others. Yeah, you touched on some really good points there. When you connect with other influencers, and that's who you are, you know, if you're here, you're an influencer um, because you know other people and you have other ideas. You can influence people. You get to do that, like you said, through the events, through the connections and create collaborations. And we have experiences for you to increase your influence. So, again, thank you, Helen. Thank you, Lorna, for being the influencers and the leaders you are transforming other people's lives, helping them become money magnets, getting over their fears and breaking through to having more meaning and giving more impact and making an impact in life. So joinwsa.com is where you can do exactly what Helen and Lorna have done and become a premier member. We look forward to um, welcoming you into our community. Thanks again, Lorna and Helen. And we'll be back Thank next you. time. Bye for now.